Hi there, um, we've got another special today and um, we're going to talk about the history behind poltergeists. Whenever people hear the word poltergeist, it usually instills fear, a demonic spirit that has come to harm you from the other side. But the word poltergeist actually is German for noisy ghost or spirit. In my experience, poltergeists are just spirits looking for attention, but in many instances, they have been capable of pinching, biting, scratching and hitting. In many accounts, have been capable of levitating objects as well. Poltergeists have mainly been described as troublesome spirits who haunt a person and instead of a location. They have been reported all over the world dating back as far as the first century. Science generally says that poltergeists do not exist and in many cases people misinterpret what's happening. It generally depends on the person. I believe they exist because I myself have witnessed it happen. A man named Flavius Josephus may hold the claim to the first account of poltergeist activity ever recorded. He witnessed an exorcism in 94 AD, in which an unclean spirit was drawn from an innocent individual. He then says in his writings that after it was performed, a bowl of water located across the other side of the room was overturned. There have been many reports through the old ages of poltergeist activity, and here I'll list a few of the most famous ones. The Bell Witch, 1817 to 1872. The legend of the Bell Witch occurred in Adams, Tennessee, USA, in the early 1800s. John Bell was apparently harassed by a witch named Kate Batts. This resulted in poltergeist activity occurring in the Bell home. Activity included noises in the walls, Unusual sounds, people being slapped and pinched, objects being thrown. Mr. Bell and his family were haunted by scratches outside their door and after Mr. Bell discovered a half-dog, half-rabbit creature. Since this story has been picked up by Hollywood and made into several films. Another haunting that made it to the cinema is that of the infamous 30 East Drive. Almost as soon as the family moved in in 1966, bad things started happening. Layers of chalk dust started to appear, puddles of water from nowhere, green foam appearing from faucets, lights turning on and off, cupboards shaking violently, photographs being slashed with knives, and a whole long list of levitating objects. After a while, things turned violent. Faces, faces were slapped, people shoved down the stairs. It seemed to be tied to the young Diane, who became become terrorised, eventually being dragged up the stairs by her hair. In 1982, the film Poltergeist, which was co-written by Steven Spielberg, terrified audiences around the world and cemented the word poltergeist into everyone's mind as an evil, scary thing. Recent research has said that because poltergeists are usually centred around a person, the phenomenon may not be ghosts or spirits at all, but may be psychokinetic phenomena caused by the subconscious mind. William G. Roll in the 50s and 60s named this recurrent spontaneous psychokinesis, or RSPK. The human brain is an amazing thing, and although if ever we will not understand what causes poltergeist activity, it may just be down to personal belief. Okay, so this has just been a short history of poltergeists. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe so I can continue making them. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much.